Here's a quick review of the new Vintage Collection Yoda. Here is the brand new Yoda in the Vintage Collection line, this time based off of his appearance in The Empire Strikes Back. Now, unlike the rest of the figures in this wave, I do have quite a few bad things to say about this figure. But before we get into those, let's cover some of the good things that we have going on here. First, I want to look at the face sculpt, because like every other figure in this wave, it looks great. Again, I think it is a little easier to nail it on these alien figures compared to the more human figures. I will also say just overall, the look of this Yoda does look like what he looks like in episode 5. Maybe his soft goods look a little baggy on him compared to how they should look, but overall, well, not that bad. I do also want to take a minute to compliment the accessories that we get from this figure. It's nothing crazy, nothing over the top, but what is there is good. We get the walking stick, pretty much a must-have, and it looks pretty good in his hand, although it is difficult to get it to fit in there. And the biggest accessory that we get here is that blue backpack that Yoda can sit in. Now, I don't have a Dagobah Luke figure to put that on, but I do have a Jedi Luke figure, so I strapped it on him, and it does look pretty good when you're able to put Yoda in there on his back. I also find it pretty amusing that this backpack comes with one of the smallest clips I've ever seen. It does make it way easier to put on a figure knowing that you can unstrap and strap it in. So why did I say that I have probably more negative things to say about this figure? It's because of the lack of articulation. Articulation hasn't really been something they've struggled with on a lot of the new figures. They've been nailing that recently, but on this one, because it's using an older sculpt that we saw in the 2019 Cave of Evil 3-pack, it's outdated. It has swivel joints on the elbows and on the legs. And just like the figure from that 3-pack, I find that the arms can pop out when you try to swivel them way too easily. That's especially annoying because under the soft goods, it's really hard to snap those pegs back into place. Overall, I think this figure is okay. If they put this head sculpt on a different Yoda body, and even if they threw the same soft goods over it, I think it could be a really great figure. I just think that that outdated articulation is holding this one back. For another look at this figure, and more figures, vehicles, and playsets from across the Star Wars lines, be sure to check out the Jedi Collector on Instagram. Link will be in the description. And in the next video, we'll be taking a look at the new Vintage Collection Death Watch Mandalorian. Yeah.